Hey everybody, this is Ernest Gonzalez with EdTech and Design, Office of 21st Century Learning. And here's just a simple example of how I may incorporate Seesaw with Canvas. What I've done is I started making an assignment and I've put some just basic directions here. Of course, when you're working with younger students, you wanna probably record a video and explain these directions a little bit better. But what I'm asking my students to do is on the submission type, I have chosen online and I'm asking for a website to be turned in. So I'm gonna go and save and publish this so I can make it visible to my students. Now on the back end, or, or what I should say is in Seesaw, I have my student went go in, student 10 went and did a little drawing and added the word high into the middle. So what uh, they could do is click here at the bottom and there is an option to say share item and and you can copy the link, okay? So now uh, let's go back in to see this from a student's perspective, what they would do from home. I'm gonna click on student view. Oops, it looks like I may have clicked on new announcement. Let me go back again, home. So again, student view is really fantastic for being able to see from a student's perspective how everything is done. But I'm gonna go into student view here so I can go into my module and look for that Seesaw assignment. And there's many ways to approach how students turn in Seesaw work. This is just one that I saw yesterday when talking to a teacher that I liked. So here's the assignment. They would click on this assignment. And I've already submitted one one time, so mine says resubmit. So I'm gonna click resubmit. And the, the student would paste in their link here and say submit. So, now that that's saved, let me go ahead and leave the student view so we can see the teacher's perspective again, what it looks like when I go visit this page. So now here's the assignment. I could go into speed grader once all of the links were turned in by the students. Speed grader is my way to be able to see everybody's work and provide some feedback. And so test student is what we're looking at just because um, that's what I just submitted as. This would be my link that I could see. Click on it. I'm gonna see uh, a link to that work in just a moment. Great. I've uh, set this up to be just one point and I've, I said that I was only gonna show, uh, in my assignment, I said either complete or incomplete. So I've marked it as complete. And of course I can provide some feedback to my students as a video or as text, I would say submit here. But overall, that's how you might use um, the URL option of an assignment to have students turn in their work. I hope this helps you out. Feel free to reach out to us, go to www.saisd.net slash edtech if you have some more questions.